map of primary group kings in here. And today we're going to walk you through this gorgeous Brian C3 Surf Edition out here at the Kingston Showroom. So as you can see, it's going to be on a tandem axle boat made trailer. Um, it comes in the summit white and gray and patriot blue color scheme. Um, one of my favorite boats in the lineup because you can do a little bit of everything out of it. So say you're planning to do a lot of cruising with the family, but also want something that's good for water sports in that 23 foot range, you're looking at it. So I'm going to start with a couple of neat features in the back here. So as you can see, some underwater lights that will cycle through the color wheel, um, as well as the, Volvo, the Volvo Penta forward facing drive. So this particular model is 300 horsepower. Uh, with the forward facing drive, which is going to be a little different than your traditional surf boat, you're going to see a better range of thrust to help get you on plane. Um, as well as these Brian surf tabs you can see here on both sides of the boat which will initialize and create the best wakes and waves possible. So moving up into the boat itself, um, we've got a handful of awesome features to work through. As we get up here, there's a nice rear facing camera um, which can be seen in the dash area. So if you're a rider or swimming, stuff like that, you can be seen at all times. Another awesome feature would be the um, receptacle for the ski pylon here. So if you're a family that likes to do a little bit of everything, maybe a little ski, maybe a little surf, maybe a little wake boat, this is going to be it. As you're moving through to these interesting seating ideas, they come in a, a range of different options. So as you can see, I've got them set up a few different ways. One on the lounging side can be flattened all the way out as well too or something with a rear and forward facing seat. If you have that big crew that day, you'll be able to fit as many people as you can on here. Um, stepping forward as well too, through the walk through here, you're gonna have your dual battery set up with the switch. So it's gonna be tucked away out of the elements there. Um, another nice feature is gonna be the sea deck on this boat. So all the way through the transom area and through the boat itself. One of my favorite uh, flooring options in, in the boating world, it's nice and soft underfoot and doesn't get too hot on those hot summer days so it's good for pets kids basically everyone in your family some other awesome features as you can see here is the um, on the speakers themselves they're they're backlit and they're cycling through all the colors as well too maybe you've got a favorite color you can kind of zero in on that one but for now we're just going to kind of roll through all of them to show what it can do under all these seats as well too is some dedicated storage so we've got a nice cooler, it's going to stay put in place there, tucked back in there, as well as some more storage under here. So again, if you've got a big crew, a lot of life jackets, a lot of gear, some extra stuff you're bringing for the day, you'll have space for it everywhere. Another option will be the seat heater. So there's going to be one unit there and one unit up front here. So on those cold, maybe fall or spring days when you're out in early morning and it's a little chilly on the water, you can kind of stay warm and dry on the boat. Next is this awesome head slash change room area. So right now we've got it, our cover just tucked away in there, but you can also opt for a porta potty or a pump out head. Um, has a little sink and options for that as well too, as well as some lighting if, if it's a little dark in there for you. So, very nice and spacious. A lot of people like to see that on those 23 foot boats. So, moving into the bow here, as you can see, the bow filler cushion turns into a sun pad up front as well. Both sides will have your storage compartments. So, again, storage basically under every seat, which is a huge thing for Bryant's and Correct Craft and making sure they're also on hinges so they won't get lost. So all the way in the front here, we've got another ice chest, as well as some sea deck on the anchor locker. So again, swimming through the front, you can kind of jump off there, anchor storage, everything's all in one place. Pop-up stainless steel cleats, another great option as well too. Keep them tucked away when you don't need them, but they're easily accessible when you do. And last but not least will be the head unit. Um, it is an awesome 12.3 inch um, Bryant screen, as well as fully functional, so you can control your wake shaping, your music, 
able to keep an eye behind the boat, your nav, and then roll through your settings there. So, my name's Matt Scredden. I work out of the Prime Marine Group Kingston um, near 4000 Bath Road. If you have any further questions on this boat or anything else, feel free to reach out. My direct number is 613-777-6268. Thanks and happy holidays.